David, you're saying you think energy is one of the most attractive areas going into the Trump era. Is that true no matter what the oil price is? It, it absolutely is. The, the thesis that we're talking about here is energy as part of his manufacturing job story, that it becomes an incredible way. You notice in his speech last week, he talked about a sort of public-private partnership around infrastructure. This is an entirely private way to invest in infrastructure. The massive need that our national energy infrastructure has, our ability to export natural gas, there's a wonderful play here that is not crude oil price sensitive. Hey, Rick, we don't often talk at this point at time of day about the relationship between commodities and Treasury yields. So as oil goes lower here, and there's some, John Kilduff was on our air today saying maybe he could see it going to $42 a barrel before this sell-off is finished. What do you think that would do to Treasury yields, which have been going up lately in anticipation of a Fed rate increase next week? You know, I, I think I'm going to take the same tactic that Dave has taken. I, just because the price of oil goes down, when, when you think that that's a major input cost to things like manufacturing, I think it's a positive, and it's an input cost on absolutely everything with regard to energy. Healthy number. David, you mentioned that your interest in the energy space is not so much keyed off the price of oil. You've got names like Enterprise and Enbridge, which you think will continue to do well. Does the U.S. have the cost advantage? We can just keep pumping this stuff even as the price goes lower? Well, you have to remember that a significant amount of the revenues of those two names is not in crude oil. It is in natural gas, and the lower price of natty gas is creating higher volumes. These are volume plays, and so to me, I think it's a story of infrastructure need. If we want gas and oil to continue to be transported around this country by rail and truck, then we don't need more pipelines. But what the Trump administration's done from a deregulation standpoint is say, no, we're going to support this, this industry. It's job creating. It's environmentally superior. And ultimately, the economics are very attractive. So we love those stories, and we love those names, again, without a particular play on crude oil. And I would add, hearing Rick Santelli say he's on my track is just something that is happening every day between Rick and I. We're on each other's track on all of these issues and more. There you are. Hey, guys. Get, get you guys together for lunch sometime.